Alright, so for this video, I'm going to be running a virtual machine, so it'll be like, just like your setup at home. Uh, this is assuming that you don't have Java or anything installed. First off, all you have to do, install Java, and as well as install the JDK. And I'll include the link uh, for both of these in the description. And once you have that, you can go ahead and install them. Let me see, this is the JDK, this is Java, let me install Java first. Okay, now that that's installed, I'm going to go ahead and install the JDK. Okay, now I'm going to confirm that it's in their default location. Yep, okay. So now, I'm going to make a Java program, and since this is a virtual machine, I don't have my IDEs or anything, so I'm going to use Notepad. <laughs> We're going to make a simple class. Strained parts, and within this, just confirming. It works. So then I'm going to save this as the name Java, and we're going to save this to the desktop just to make things easier. So you can see right here we now have hello.java in the desktop. So this is a uh, that out cd desktop the following will return an error java c is not recognized as you can see and the reason you might be getting this is you have not properly set up your environment variables yet so let's go ahead and do that so you're going to want to click on path and click on edit and then you're going to click on new now what are you going to type in here? You're going to go all the way back to your file explorer and you're going to go to, if you install it in the default, it should be in program files, Java, and then it should be the JDK, and then you're going to want to copy the bin folder. So we're going to go here and we're going to copy this path. And click new, enter, okay, okay, and just to confirm path, Pass that, path, edit, it's right here, I'm going to move it up, but you can see the JDK is within the envir environment variable. We need to restart, command prompt, cd desktop, java c, hello.java. So you, th you can see that actually worked, so... We're going to do, then do java hello. And you can see it did print out, it ran the command right through the command prompt. This is to compile it, and that will generate this file right here, the dot class file. And you will also need another one that's java.hello. Now I'm going to show you an example of how to use an argument from the command prompt. Now, since you already set up the environment and everything, we don't need I don't need to show you in this environment variable. I'm going to show you one of my own code. So I'm going to open up Eclipse here. I'm going to pause the video real quick. All right, so we are now in Eclipse. You can see I have a Java program right here that takes an argument, and this argument will be passed in the command prompt to create a new file. So what we are going to do is first of all, we need to change into the directory of this so i'm going to go i'm just going to take a shortcut way go to properties i'm just going to copy this because i'm lazy and i'm going to go to my command prompt type in cd to change the directory and paste in the directory after that i will do java c and the name of the java program that i want to run on the command prompt and then also you're going to do java 
DFA, which is in a, just similar to how we did before because it generates a class file. But this time we are also going to pass in parameter. So I'm going to use this right here. So it's going to, I'm going to add on to this and type in DFA test dot txt. So if I hit enter, you can see it did use the the file. So I can type in, I can just run the program as usual. Um, Alright, so let's retry that and let's see what happens if we pass in a parameter that does not exist. So we're going to do Java C to recompile it and we're going to access the nuclear, I probably spelled that wrong, launch codes dot txt. And as you can see, that does not exist, so it should return the error. And you can see, it does not exist. Making sure that you have your environment environmental variable set up correctly. Once you get that correctly done, it should work flawlessly. You can run basically any program. So let me actually show that. So I'm going to open up a command prompt and I'm going to cd into the directory that contains this Java program that calculates your minimum final grade that you need on the final exam to get your desired grade. And we are going to compile it. So to compile it, you will write in Java C and the name of the class, calculator, and then dot Java. And then once it's compiled, you just do Java final grade calculator. All right, enter the number of categories. You can see it just runs the program as it would if you ran it through the IDE. Let's do 33, um, 100, uh, 90. I was just saying yes anyways. It's not perfect math. I'm just showing that it does work through commands. So obviously this is not your actual final grade because it doesn't the weight doesn't add up to 100. I was too lazy, but you can see that the program does run in your command prompt. You guys have any issues, let me know. I think the main issue you guys might have is the environmental variables. Like I said, all you have to do is go to your um you have to go to the base wherever you install the JDK file. And for most people, if you didn't change the directory, it should be in your program files and into Java. So right here, you can enter Java. And right here, this is line JDK. Um, and then just copy your bin folder. Oh, not paste. Copy it and then put it in your environmental variable pathway. So if I go to edit environmental pathway path edit, you can see I have it right here at the top, and it does work. Hope you guys find this helpful. Uh, if you guys don't have any problems, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll do my best to assist you. Thank you for watching.